It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Monday, the 27th of February. I'm James Spann. It's been a cloudy, cool, wet day today. We warm up tomorrow in severe storms, a good possibility on Wednesday, and then more cool air. So let's go in there and talk about this very active pattern. Water vapor satellite view. The lead impulse came through this morning in that very fast flow of law producing rain. Still raining this afternoon, mainly in areas south and east of Birmingham. That was the radar at 214. The heaviest rain lined up from near Monroeville to Montgomery, Tuskegee, Auburn, Opelika, and Lafayette. Uh, nothing severe. Some patchy light rain around the Birmingham metro, and it's very cool. Uh, temperatures barely out of the 40s in spots up in northeast Alabama. Fort Payne only at 52, Birmingham at 55. These numbers are considerably below average for this time of the year. But notice the huge thermal contrast across the state. While we are cool up here down south, Mobile and Dothan are in the mid-70s. And that warm front over South Alabama will move north of here tonight. That means we go in the 70s tomorrow and Wednesday and we get into unstable air. There's the watch warning map. The eastern half of the nation, quiet early this afternoon. Got a variety of winter storm issues in the western states. This is the convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. We've got the standard slight risk around the Arklatex region, a marginal risk. Extending down into South Mississippi, South Louisiana, the marginal risk has been removed for southwest Alabama for tonight. Tomorrow should be a very active convective day with severe storms possible from Dallas-Fort Worth up to Cleveland. The core threat is the enhanced risk over parts of Arkansas, Missouri, and Illinois. There's the actual probabilities, a 30% circle. That means a 30% chance of severe storms within 25 miles of a good point in that enhanced risk, and also the chance of some significant severe weather. That's the crosshatch there. And on day three Wednesday, much of the eastern U.S. with a risk of severe weather. And you can see in Alabama, we have the enhanced risk north of a line from near Demopolis to Calera to Talladega and Piedmont, the areas in orange. The standard risk is as far south as Grove Hill, Greenville, Troy, Eufaula, in far south Alabama with a marginal risk of severe storms, and we'll talk about that as we go. And this is the rain for the next five days. I'm sorry, next seven days, valid through uh, Monday of next week, about one inch around here. So let's take a look. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon, troughing in the west. Down below that, a deep surface low begins to form over the Oklahoma panhandle. Very moist air, unstable air in place here, and the warm front should be north of us. So for Alabama, uh, more clouds than sun, very mild with mid-70s likely, and a chance of scattered showers and storms, but there's nothing to focus the rain, no triggers, so we don't expect any severe weather, but again, there could be a few storms in scattered spots. Keep that in mind. This is the STP tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, and these numbers are pretty significant here, the, the max... STP is almost a 10 here over parts of South Oklahoma and North Texas around the Red River. And the values are quite high through Arkansas, Missouri, and Illinois. So, again, our friends in that zone will have to watch it carefully for uh, tomorrow and tomorrow night. Now, this is Wednesday at noon. Uh, the surface low is way north of here. It's near Buffalo, New York, 989 millibars with a trailing front down to Memphis. And uh, typically with a surface low that far north, we don't have the low-level winds backed completely, and that kind of reduces the tornado threat. We'll check some of the severe weather parameters Wednesday afternoon. This is 3 o'clock. The low-level jet, the wind's about 5,000 feet off the ground. Really, the core values are a little uh, east of here. And the low-level jet is not really out of the south. It's more out of the west. And this is suggesting the main threat would be from strong straight-line winds with a squall line on the front. Storm relative helicity value is not all that high. This is the 0 to 1 kilometer SRH. And the STP values are, uh, the, the max value there is 1.7 uh, through North Alabama. There could be an isolated tornado, especially if a storm can form in advance of the front, any discrete type cells. But again, it looks more and more like a line with strong straight line winds. And here's the forecast sounding uh, at mid-afternoon Wednesday. And again, uh, you'd like to see those lower gates veered back around to the southeast. But still, there, there could be a, a few storms that, that try and rotate. So uh, a situation where we could see all modes of severe weather. This is the graphic in terms of the timing we're using. Northwest Alabama, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., 
Uh, North Central Alabama, places like Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Gadsden, Anniston, 2 to 6 p.m., and then down to the southeast, Montgomery, Auburn, Alexander City, Greenville, 6 until 10 p.m. And this could change, no doubt about that, but that's the way it looks now. And uh, you know the deal. If you're watching these videos, you got this. Just be able to hear the warnings. But be sure and let your friends know that Wednesday could be a severe weather day. Thursday, we get into cool, dry air. Uh, the high will drop into the low to mid-60s. Pretty good north breeze. And Friday, even colder. A 1037 high over Paducah, Kentucky. Uh, Friday morning, we'll be very close to freezing. The high will be around 60. Here are the anomalies. The east is below average. And this is Saturday, Saturday morning. The GFS now showing 31 for Birmingham. So another late season freeze. I think we have many of these left. And the high Saturday will be in the low 60s, and the sky should be sunny. Sunday. Sunday morning, not as cold, probably a low 40s. The high will be in the 60s, will be dry. And a week from today, this is Monday, the 6th of March, the flow goes zonal. Moisture increasing to the west, but that still looks dry. This is the following day, Tuesday of next week, March the 7th. That looks wet with a cold front passing through. Probably not a severe weather look if this verifies. And this is the end of the forecast period. This is Thursday of next week, March 9th troughing off the east coast and a cool dry air mass settling in here check the numbers off the gfs you can see those cold mornings uh, you can see saturday morning the gfs printing 31 and i do think that the highs might be a smidgen warmer than those 50s we'll probably be close to 60 on those cool days and then we warm up a little bit monday of next week and then cool back down toward the middle part of next week very changeable this time of the year, which is one reason why it's the beginning of the spring tornado season. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or on television, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.